So, I finally got my hands on a copy of the PC version of the Titanfall beta. I know the beta's already been out for a few days, since around February 13th or 14th, somewhere around that time frame. So I'm a little late to the party, but hey, better late than never. Personally, I want to thank EA for making that happen anyway, and deciding that they wanted to actually send me the code late Sunday night, more like Monday morning. That's when I noticed I had the code for the beta. But anyway, I figured I'd bring you guys along as I go through the training simulation and pretty much learn the fundamentals of the game. If only I could complete this stupid jump right here. Probably took me about three or four times to actually beat this one little part in the level because I kept dying for some reason. Most likely it's because I was jumping too early, but who knows. Anyway, I completed it, so let's move on. Let's see, what do we got next? Pilot training module two, wall running. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna do my Spider-Man impression here. Your most important piece oh, hell yeah, let's go. It, I was built for this. On walls. Wall Can I get it first attempt? Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh. So close, but so far. <laughs> Try it one more time. And I kind of get the hang of it the second time. Just barely. Almost died right there, too. And you would think after doing it once, I'll be in the clear, right? Nope. <laughs> Same result. Died again. Come on, man. I may never get past this stage. All right, let's go. Third try. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> Just barely caught the edge of the wall right there. Oh, they got to be double timing it now, huh? Oh, oh. Kind of reminds me of like a little Prince of Persia type action. Oh, don't die at the end. Come on, dude. And keep in mind, this is my first time playing this game. So I'm showing you guys exactly the way that I played it. I could edit it out, make it nice and neat and pretty and all that. But where's the fun in that? I mean, come on. I guarantee you, I'm not the only one that did that. Most of y'all, when you first played this game, you guys probably died at the exact same spots as me. Don't lie. I see you. you <laughs> I'm watching you. Nah, I'm only kidding. But still, though, you know what I'm talking about. Not everybody just goes through it flawlessly. There's always a few deaths along the way, little bumps along the way. So, you know, it's all part of the learning curve. But I'm loving how I could just run across these walls like that, though. I think that's a nice touch so far. I like that. Let's go. Uh, just jumping back and forth. Now I'm just getting fancy with it. That last little stretch, I didn't even touch the ground. Let's go. Pilot training module 04, the double jump. See what this is about. Probably going to be some crazy, jump stupid, long, extend extended jump like in Super Metroid where you can just jump in the air and stay in the air forever. Oh, I got it the first try. Uh-oh. Let's go. Here's a big one. Uh, and he made both of them. He made them both at the same time. Let's go. Easy money. Oh, I could double jump up walls too? Okay. Let's go. Pass that with flying colors. What do you know about that, son? Let's go. Let's program up part five for this simulation. See what this is all about. Is that a tank? Yeah, I think that is a tank. So what do they want me to do in this room with the tank? Oh, okay. I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. They probably want me to just use these obstacles and jump on them and try to get to the top. Thought I saw a clearing up at the top. Yeah, so we're good to go. Let's go on ahead and hop on this tank. Maybe do a quick double jump. Ugh, got him. Got him, coach. Oh, nice wall running. Here we go. Make it, yeah. Let's go, we in this thing. Yeah, part five wasn't that bad at all. Let's see, module six, cloaking. Let's go on ahead and see what that's all about. Cloaking. Probably gonna have to be Make quiet though. I have to whisper to you guys because they might want me to cloak and sneak around somebody. So I just want to be quiet. First, then move through the area really quiet. Uh-oh, got the cloak. I'm good, they can't see me. I wonder if they can hear me. I mean, I guess not. They're not even looking at me, so we're good to go. Didn't even notice I was there. So it looks like that one's in the books. Hey, let me in. Why is this force field still here? Come on, man. Let me in. Do I have to uncloak? Ah, there it is. Okay, let me in. Let's get up out of here. Bring on the next training module. Basic combat. Now things should start getting interesting. Maybe I can start firing a weapon or something. Oh, yeah. I see him right in there. There's an enemy. There's an enemy. Come on. Move the force field. Let's go. Taking them down. Oh, I gotta sneak up on him and melee him. Oh, drop you kick to the back. From Come on, man. Seriously? That's the melee in this game? That better not be the melee. That wasn't even a melee. He just kicked him in the butt. Continue. Come on, dude. What kind of game is gonna let you walk up on an opponent from behind and kick him in the butt and let that count as a melee? That's... I don't know about that one. That's got to be one of those things they just threw in the beta because they didn't actually want you to see the actual melee. Until you get in the game. That that makes sense to me. What about you? What do you think? Because in my mind, there's no way that's going to count as a melee. I refuse to accept that. Oh, look. I can finally fire this weapon. 
they gave me this automatic lock. Oh, hell yeah. So it's a little automatic targeting system where I don't really have to do much, but just aim. And pretty much the weapon takes care of the rest. That's going to come in handy. Oh, heck no. No way. I can lock on to multiple targets? Wait a minute. Oh. You can lock on to multiple targets and just squeeze the trigger once and it eliminates all the enemies. It fires like a quick burst that pretty much wipes out all the enemies that it's targeting. That's nice. I'm digging that right there. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. Oh, so I guess that didn't work. I'm supposed to let the weapon auto-target him. And once it locks on, then I'm supposed to squeeze. Let's go. There it is. It's kind of crazy how the weapon was targeting multiple points on his body, though. I guess that has something to do with the armor or something like that. But anyway, another module completed. Let's move on to the firing range. Module 8. Let's go. Let's go. We want to shoot at something all day. Might as well give me some targets. Let's go, man. Get me out of here. Okay, so I guess they want me to stand back here. and Maybe the targets are just going to pop up down range. I can dig it. Ah, there we go. We got moving targets. Uh, take that. Take that. Laying them all down. This is way much more precise. I don't know how you guys do it. All you gamers out there that use controllers for your Xbox One, 360, PS3, whatever, to actually play shooting games. I don't know how you guys do it. But props to you, because, man, there's no way. But, oh, before I forget, I have one extra Titanfall beta code for the Xbox One. If you guys want it, it's yours. I'm going to go ahead and post it up right here. There it is. Go on ahead and do what you do. First come, first serve. There's only one code. So go on ahead and copy it. Log in to Xbox Live and do what you do. And try this game out for yourself. And trust me, the game is better than this. You guys should already know by now. This is just a training mode. It gets way more interesting than this. Trust me on that. But my objective here in this training simulation is just to throw grenades through this window. I mean, it's not too exciting, but I guess well it's necessary to learn how to throw grenades in the game. I mean, really. But anyway, let's go ahead and get up out of here. Let's get into training module 10, pilot combat. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, maybe I'll get a chance to shoot at some bad guys for a change. Let's go. Now I just got to figure out where they're coming from. Let's see, let's see. Ah, there they are. Good, let's go. Look for the small dots I see on you. Minimap. Lock on. Uh, of course, after doing all that combat simulation training, my weapons don't want to cooperate and lock on right now. Don't know why. Come on, lock. And trust me, that's more me than it is the game. So don't think it's the game that's jacking up. It's probably me just not aiming properly. Because it's a little different when the enemies are actually moving. <laughs> not just stationary targets. Still should be able to take them out, though. Let's go see if I can get a better aim. One shot. Nice with the pistol. We'll take that. And what in the world is that shooting at me? Is that an enemy just kneeling or something? I guess it is. I can't really tell from back here, but whatever it is, is hitting me doing damage. So got to get inside and let my health rejuvenate a little bit. Let's see what we got out here. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. They're all just sitting there chilling. Let's see if I can get them all with one spray. Oh, it's not letting me aim. I can't jump and aim at the same time. Oh, that would have been too good to be true. See if I can get a better vantage point from over here. Nope. Ah, there you go. Two of those suckers together. That's a mistake. Good night. One shot, one kill. What else do we got around here? Let's go. See if we can get a better angle. Ah, there they are. They're all right there. See if I can get some cover. Take them all out. Blah! Let's go. Thank you. Come again. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Oh, man. It's about to get real. Dropping Titans in from the sky. Oh, my God. The oh, that's ill. Oh, he comes down, guns blazing. Let's go. Take that. Oh, get to cover. Get to cover. Who almost died. Come on. Come on, big fella. Uh, take that. Spraying him trying to stay behind cover because I know this thing can just lay me out with just one hit. Ooh, like that. That's dangerous. Simulation has been disabled. As a pilot, when your view screen tints red, you are close to death. Copy that. Avoid taking damage for a short time and your health will restabilize. Copy that. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, you have fully recovered. Good to go. That's that critical need to know information right there. Laying him out. Come on, he's already on fire. He should probably explode in just a second. How is he still hitting me behind cover, though? I don't get that. Let's 
go back in here, let my health recover for a little bit. Maybe I can get a different view on this guy. Good job. You mean good job? Is he dead? Is very dangerous, even ah. with the right weaponry. Pilots earn credit towards their next Titan drop by engaging in combat. Once your Titan is built, you can drop your Titan onto the battlefield. To continue, please initiate Titanfall. Please initiate Titanfall. Into the sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. Oh, that's sick. That's ill. Get close to your Titan. Let's now. go. Give me my Titan. Are we about to go to war? Thank Titans you. Titans are designed to be a natural extension of the pilot. Firing your Titan's primary weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. Come on down, fellas. It's a good day to die. Come on out here. Get some. Ah. You guys are clearly overmatched. Don't even know why you bothered to show up. Wrong place, wrong time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just scattering like roaches. Ah. <laughs> oh man, I'm having way too much fun doing this. This is ridiculous. I wonder if I could just walk up on one of them and just squash him. That'll be ill. Got to reload. I love that reload animation too. It just takes this huge barrel canister off of his wrist and just starts blasting them. These guys out here have no chance. They better just run and hide. I'm laying everybody down. Reload. Uh, let's go. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> good night. Thank you for coming. Well, good night. What else we got over here? Got some more? Ah, good. Let's go. You can't run either. Excellent. Ah, get out of here. Scenario complete. Combat scenario complete. Let's go on ahead and get training module 11 underway. The Titan Dash. See what this is all about. Titans can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, please dash in any direction you like. To dash in a Titan, move any direction while pressing the space bar. Okay. I think I can do that. Come on, dash, you stupid Titan. Let's go. Please dash yeah, to the left. let's go. Dash to the left. Dash uh -huh. to your right. Dash to the right. Dash backwards. The dash Everybody the clap your hands. <laughs> I'm just clowning. Each blue box represents one dash. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Let's go on ahead and get out of here. And just so you know, I took the liberty of editing that out for you guys. Just because the Titans walk slow as hell. You didn't really miss much. Just a couple rockets fired at me that I had to dodge. And that's pretty much training module 11. So training module 12, the Titan Vortex Shield. It's about to get real. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. So you basically get to walk up on opponents, stopping all sorts of gunfire like Neo in the Matrix, and then you get to send it right back at them and just make them blow up like that. I can already tell that's going to come in handy. That's pretty ill. What the hell are these? Little helper droids? But I don't know. That's a wrap on Module 12. Time to get pilot training Module 13 underway. Skilled pilots often disembark from their Titans on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your Titan. All right, let me the hell up out of here. So you press E. Head into the control room to open the gate for your Titan. Copy that. Let's find what this control room is. It looks like a control panel right there to me. Hold E to hack. Copy that. Oh, that's a sick knife, man. I need that. Pilots can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you or guard its current location. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode and it will follow you through the gate. When your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Get close to your Titan and re-embark. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's re-embark, Titan. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, that's a sick animation. He just reaches down and grabs you and just throws you in. There, that's ill. Let's go. Pilot training module 14. Titan combat scenario. It's about to get real. This is it, folks. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. 
These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. Be sure to deploy offhand weapons to maximize your firepower in combat. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. Let's go. We got incoming. About to get live. Where you at? All right, don't try to hide behind cover now. Come out here where I can shoot you. Let's go. Oh, I didn't even do much damage like I thought it would. Each Titan has a shield that deflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in combat, taking breaks to recharge as necessary. Get back up. I'm not done with you yet. Take that. <laughs> Send it back at him. Good night. Hell yeah, his health is about done. Good night. Thank you for coming. Prepare for the next wave. Prepare for the next wave. What else you got? Throw something good at me this time. Next that was a little too easy. Coming. Be advised. Enemy Titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. There we go. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. Game time. Who the heck you think you're shooting at? Come on, now I'm sending all that right back at you. I'm not the one. Look at you about to die already. Oh, I missed them. Titan's <laughs> health bar status is located at the top center of your HUD. Notice that when your health bar goes down, it will not replenish. Once your health bar is depleted, your Titan is doomed to die shortly. All right, so it sounds like I got to keep my health bar up. Don't want my Titan explode on me. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, man. I'm like Neo, sending all that back at you. How in the world did he just get a full bar of health? He was just about to die a second ago. Oh, where did this dude come from? He was not there a second ago. Oh, of course, he only shoots one bullet at me. Get the heck out of here with that. But he's already on fire. Let's go. He's done. What? He's still standing? Not for long. Now he's done. Prepare for the next wave. All right, I'm ready. I wonder how many waves they're going to give me this time around. I've already survived two. Wave incoming. Enemy Titan shields online. Use caution. Understood. Come get some. Come get your throat cut. <laughs> oh. Take that, man. Taste your own medicine. Shoot. Dang, this thing is huge. Titan is critically damaged. Oh no. Veterans refer to this as doomed state. Doomed state. Your Titan will inevitably self-destruct once it is doomed. Okay, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. You will have infinite time to eject. Hell yeah. This will not survive. Be the case in actual combat. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. Excellent. Your pilot combat certification is complete. 